All right, so we're going to practice understanding the ruler. So for this, you're going to need a three-inch square that I've provided for you. I've labeled my page understand ruler, and then you need a ruler. Uh, you need to understand inches, and then which one is the inches, and then which one's in metric. And we are going to deal with inches. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to trace your three-inch square three times. Now, you want to try to fit it all on one paper, so you're only using one sheet in your sketchbook. But if you can't fit it all on one, then you'll have to use two. So we just learned about the ruler and the measurements that make up the ruler. So first one we're going to use inches. And so you have to understand that with these rulers, the edge is not the zero. This line right here is the zero. So I'm going to line this up on my square and I'm going to mark the top at every inch. Now I only have to do two marks because it's a three inch square. And then I'm simply just going to draw and connect. So this is just proving that you understand where the inches are. Label this one inch. Okay. Second square, I'm going to do the half inch marks. And so remember, half inch is in the middle of the ruler between inches. And so it's generally the second longest mark because inches are the longest mark. And then so the half inch mark. So I'm going to take my ruler and at every half inch I'm going to mark it. So that means half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. So I'm going to move it down here and do the exact same thing. Half, inch, inch and a half, two, two and a half. And then just like last time, just going to connect my lines. Use the ruler to create straight lines. Don't visually do this because for your project you're going to need straight lines. All right, and then I want to label this one half inch. Oops, yeah, I made a mistake. You're supposed to do the three quarter inch next. Uh, so we'll just go back a little bit. So the three-quarter inch. So again, in that video that you guys learned how to use the ruler, it talked about quarter inches, uh, like a quarter. Having four quarters makes a dollar. So there's a dollar value here. So there's my half. So quarters, generally the third longest line in between uh, each inch. And so what you want to do is you want to line it up and you're going to go to the three-quarter inch mark. So, But this is where it gets tricky. There's the three-quarter. So one quarter, two quarters. There's my third quarter at an inch and a half. Right? So one quarter, two quarters. So my third three-quarters is at two and one quarter. And then I would finish at three. So then I just move that down. Three-quarters, one two, three, one, two, three, and then I just make my lines. And this would be known as the three quarter inch. And then to finally to end this, we got to go to the one fourth, the quarter inch, which is the harder one to find because, well, you've got all these extra ones. And so at every quarter of an inch, I'm going to make a mark. So, and this is the one that you need to know for your project. So I'm going to mark quarter, quarter, so quarter, half, three quarter, inch, one quarter, one half, one and three quarters, two, two and one quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom, All right? I probably should have done this one horizontally, like on the sides, but quarter, half, three quarters, inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, inch and three quarters, two, two and one quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters. And then I simply draw my lines top to bottom all the way through. 
once you show me these four squares, you can actually begin your project. And then you would label this one and one fourth inch. And then this is what I need to see as proof that you're ready to begin your project. So that is understanding the ruler. There you go. Just like that.